Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard, and it's that time again to look forward to what's coming next year. Hopefully a much, much better year than this one, especially with the rollout of vaccines. But like last year's video, it's going to kind of be similar because of much of last year's stuff didn't get to open <laughs> um, this year. So it's been postponed until next year, but I'll give you a nice refresher of what is supposed to open what new rides will be opening in the Southern California theme parks in the 2021 year? For as a refresher, last year, of course, we got West Coast Racers and, or sorry, this year we've got West Coast Racers and Rise of the Resistance. Those are the, I believe, the only two attractions that made it. We had Secret Life for Pets and Emperor that almost made it, but just didn't make the cut for all the parks closed. So, we're going to start with the ones that were open, most likely will open the soonest to which ones will open the latest, and which ones even got delayed till 2022. So, starting off, Seek Life of Pets. That's right, Seek Life of Pets at Universal Studios Hollywood is open, it's ready to go. Pass holder previews were happening, or were about to happen on literally the weekend that the park has closed, and the ride has just been sitting there, waiting to be ridden, and it will be ridden next year, hopefully in March or April of 2021 i'll be getting a pov of that attraction as soon as i get uh as, 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 as i'm able to get on it also as the honorary mentioned jurassic world the refurbished version and the full jurassic world will again reopen um in 2021 as well that ride is finished and was scheduled to open well same time as sequel ever pets was going to open so that's it for Universal Studios Hollywood. And I also want to honorary mention Super Nintendo World, aka the Mario Kart attraction, which was scheduled to open in summer 2021, will most likely be pushed back to 2022 because that way Universal can spread out its new rides over two years instead of having two new rides open um, within a relatively short time period of each other um, in one year. So I expect Super Nintendo World to be delayed just a little bit until spring 2022. Next up, we're going to actually move up to Six Flags Magic Mountain. And where we, we we're going to have an RMC Raptor, potentially a Jersey Devil clone, come for the park's 20th coaster and Six Flags Magic Mountain's first single rail coaster. But updated permit filings suggest that that ride is going to open in 2022. It got delayed a year as it hasn't even started construction yet. I assume it's going to start construction sometime in 2021, probably spring or summer, to get ready for its 2022 opening. Land clearing might start in the early part of next year. We'll have to see um, what happens when holiday in the park, the drive through event, is uh, done. And that ends on January 31st. So earliest the work can get, could again would theoretically be, be February 1st for that new attraction. So we'll be watching that. So nothing new for Six Flags for 2021, but definitely something big and exciting for 2022 on another side note it kind of sucks because 2021 is the park's 50th anniversary as it did open in 1971 so it looks like we won't have a new coaster and anything to celebrate it but we might have some kind of like in park celebration maybe a show or something going on maybe some kind of promotion to kind of bring people back to the park as the recovery will be starting from this whole mess of a pandemic we've been through this past year Moving on down south into Orange County now. We have two parks in Orange County, Knott's Berry Farm and Disneyland Resort. We're going to start with Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Tales, as you have seen if you watched my nice or not sub Taste of Mary Farm video and Taste of Calico videos, um, it's done. The sign, the marquee's up, and it's animated, it's moving, it's ready to go, just like Secret Life of Pets. So, when the park opens, Knott's actually has stated that when the park opens, Knott's Berry Farm will be, um, or Knott's Berry Tales will be the opening day, quote-unquote, attraction, as it's ready to go. So, buy up those $100 uh, passes for not to celebrate their 100th anniversary, which is this year, and get ready to celebrate some Knott's Berry Tales coming up next year. Hopefully, again, that springtime of next year. Hopefully, the parks can be reopened back th by then. Um, honorary mention for Knott's that big, massive fort expansion. The 2021 
um, backstage expansion obviously will be delayed until maybe 2022 or even 2023, depending on how big it is. We'll get hopefully get more information on that next year. But the whole goal, of course, is to get the parks opening and open up Barry Tales, which is sitting there and ready to go and looking beautiful. Again, if you see, I'll link up my Knott's Mary Farm video that has a portion of that there, and you can I'll link it. You can see how beautiful it looks in real time or just as of last month. Moving just 10 minutes to the south, Disneyland Resort. Disneyland Park has nothing coming to the park for 2021, but uh, Mini Mickey, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will be coming in 2023, and Splash Mountain has a very real chance of going down later on this year or in early 2022, so definitely get those last rides on there. But the new Snow White will be opening, or the Snow White with the Change Sheen will be opening with the park as well. But the big thing for the Disneyland Resort is in California Adventure, and that is Avengers Campus. Avengers Campus, of course, will be opening. It's ready to go. In fact, last week, cast members got preview uh, got a preview ride on the Web Slingers Spider-Man Adventure attraction. And they said it was, they gave it generally positive reviews, which was great. They said it's like Midway Mania, um, but they even, they said Midway Mania, but shorter. And they said the ride vehicles are similar to Transformers, uh, Universal Steels, which they don't look like that at all, in my opinion. So I'm not sure where they're getting that from, but maybe there's something that we don't know that they do. Um, I'll, I'll reserve my judgment till that until I can get on the attraction. But um, it's shorter than Midway Mania, and there's no devices used to shoot the web slingers out of your hands. You new technology. You just swipe your hands, and there's uh, the web comes out, which is good, especially in this time because you don't have to touch any like joysticks or anything. Um, again, perfect for this time. They didn't even plan for that, which is awesome, and it makes you feel like. Makes it feel more real. Makes you feel like you're actually Spider-Man. When you can just do the web, the motions, and the webs come right out of your hands, which is super cool. Using again that AR technology. So, Avengers Campus, and of course we have the Doctor Strange show and the Hank Pym uh, microbrewery, the Avengers uh, gift shop, which will be the Avengers the facade to the Avengers e-ticket, hopefully coming sooner rather than later. You have Spider Boss you can play with in the land. You'll have the Spider-Man stunt show, or the Stuntronics show, the Captain America Black Widow versus Taskmaster stunt show on the tops of the buildings. And you have, of course, my favorite attraction in the resort, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, that you can ride as many times as you want. Moving on down to SeaWorld, Emperor. Emperor was just another one that was going to... uh open up right basically in march looking is looking to open up in march with the secret life or kind of around the time the secret life of pets is opening it was testing and everything and of course uh park shut down but emperor will be a 2021 edition preferably early 2021 definitely by memorial day i'd say as it's testing maybe they just have to build out some more of the station and but the landscaping for the queue would seem to, to even be done so that will be an exciting addition to SeaWorld San Diego, which unfortunately just had to close again and stop its uh, Christmas event due to the new stay-at-home order. And in Legoland, last but not least, Lego Movie World, which was supposed to open its entire new land uh, with uh, several new rides, that was supposed to open in 2020 this year, but that will be opening in 2021. That includes Unikitty's Drop Tower. And the Flying Theater attraction. And one more, I believe. But that would be pretty cool. Pretty nice expansion to Legoland, California. So what new ride are you most excited for? Uh, really, I guess the question should be, what new ride were you most excited to ride this year that you couldn't? That you um, will now have to ride next year. Um, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Because it really helps out the channel and helps YouTube recommend um, this video to potentially new subscribers who don't regularly watch the channel, so definitely give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more theme park updates, and as always, have a fantastic day, and happy Vlogmas!